Hello and welcome back. We have added a lot of important things to our blog but one thing is missing and that is comments. In this part I'm going to show you how to add comments using model forms. The first thing we need to do is to create a model where the comments are going to be saved. So we can open up models.py and below here we create a new model. We call this comment models dot model we need a reference to the post it's going to look very similar to this so we can just copy it change it to post post comments and we also want this to be deleted when we delete a post we want the name of the person who is commenting this will be a char field Max length can be 255 again and we want the body here we can just copy this and we also want the date added and maybe we want to show the string in the admin interface in a little better way so here we can say return self.post.title self.name so when we go in the admin we will see the post title and the name of the person who added the comment and then we can save then we can go to the command line and update the database we do this by running python manage.py make migrations and python manage migrate and that's it. Now we can start the server so everything is running. And hit enter. Then we can go back to VS Code again. Inside blog we are going to create a new file called forms.py. This is where the form is going to live. Then we can import the model form from Django by doing from Django.forms import model form. We also need a model. We also need a comment model. So we we also need a comment model. We import this by doing from dot models import comment. Below we can create a new class called comment form model form. In here we need a subclass of meta. To describe which model we are using and what kind of fields we are going to be rendering in the form. Class meta model is going to be comment and we need to make a list of the fields we want. Fields equals we want the name and we want the body. We are going to add the post manually and the date added will be added automatically. So now we can save this. We can copy this and go into views.py and import it here by doing from.forms import comment form. And inside the detail view we say form equals like that and add this to the context so it will be passed to the template through this and save so then we can open up detail.html again and down here we can say h2 add a comment form method post action dot so this will be posted to the view or a URL you are on right now. In order to prevent submissions from other places we need to add something called a CSRF token. Down here we say form.s table so the form will be rendered as a table and at the bottom we need a submit button. Add comment 
and save. Then we can go into the detail view and see how it works. And then we can go into the detail view and see how it looks. Here we have the form with name, body and the add comment button. But nothing will happen when we try to submit this because we need to accept the data in the view. So let's go back to the editor again. And in views.py, over here we say if request.method equals post. And if it's a post, we want to pass in the post data. So here we say request.post. If it's not a post request, we just say form this way, like we did earlier. We want to check if the form is valid before we save it. It's very easy and we just do it by writing form.isValid. And if it's valid, we want to add this post to it. obg for object equals form.save commit equals false. Because if we try to commit or save it now, it will generate an error because because the post hasn't been added yet. obg.post equals post obg.save and when it's saved we want to return the user to the post. We do this by saying return redirect and here we say detail because it's the name of the view and we want to pass in the slug which is post.slug. This hasn't been imported from Django yet, but we can just copy it and paste it behind the render. And now we can test if this is working. So just refresh. Stein, this is a comment. Add comment. Okay, I did a little mistake in the in the redirect, so we have to go back and fix it. We have just need to say slug equals post.slug like this and save. And we can go back and refresh. And then the comment should be added. But we still need to list it out above here. So we can go back to the code again and into detail.html. Over here we can say comments and create a for loop for comment in post.comments.all since comments is the name of the related name we will get it by running post.comments.all article strong comment.name at comment.date added and below we can print out the comment body and save. So if we go back again and refresh two comments was added because of the refresh and error I did. But if I try to do it again John Doe yet another comment add comment and it's added below here. Perfect. If I go to the front page and into the other post, here is no post. So, may so maybe we can show a message telling the user that there are no comments yet. It's very simple. We can just write if not com not post.comments.all p paragraph no comments yet and save. If you then refresh you will see that here's a message telling the user that there are no comments yet. And that's it for this time. I hope you liked the video and if you did 
please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this.